Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple different ways to run your dog uh, while on your bicycle. Um, I've got one that I've store bought and then another one here that uh, I made by watching some YouTube videos. Uh, anybody saw my video of uh, Cogswell Dam of my wife and I running our dog? This is what he was hooked up to. Only by the time he was done, after 14 miles, he was running along the side because he was just dead tired. But he was still running with it. Now, this originally is called the Doggy Walk. And I just saw it on eBay today. The original real one, real one, it retailed for like $150. That's the one I saw, which was insane. However, I know damn well that I sure as hell did not pay $150 for that thing. Um, so it means I bought a cheap Chinese knockoff. And what happens when you have a cheap Chinese knockoff? Yeah. For those of you who look at the eBay um, seller for this um, doggy walk, um, this attaches literally like a quick release valve. That's how they attach. And obviously it broke off. My, my dog is uh, just about a year old. He's a husky. He's about 70 pounds, 75 pounds almost. Very energetic, loves to run, loves to run all the time. And so he would pull me and a couple times it this thing would move. So I had to tighten it up really tight and it eventually just broke. Now, what I mean by eventually, um, I only used it three times and the fucking thing broke. Yeah, so be careful what you buy. Um, what I ended up doing was this. I hose clamp tied a PVC pipe um, to here in three different locations to the rack. And what I did was I drilled a hole, two holes, and now I have them with a... There's, these aren't cotter pins, but uh, you can remove the pins here. You see? If you don't want the stick, you can remove that one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remove that second one because there's no need to. But basically, the whole thing pulls out, and you're left with this PVC right here. Um, the difficult part, of course, was drilling it straight through to where you got the metal and the PVC lined up together. It's a little difficult to do, but I have one of these drill presses, so it was easier that way. And uh, this is aluminum, it's not steel. Now, this is a really good system right here, but as you can see, it's, it's already extended the length of the bike and it, it goes out pretty far. And I didn't like that. I didn't like my dog running so far out. He's not exactly super disciplined. So what I did, if you have one of these, or decide to buy a fancy one, if you want to keep your dog closer, just shorten that. Now I will say that I don't understand why they have a solid strap and then a bunchy cord. I don't understand why they don't just have a big bunchy cord like this, because this is actually the same size. But in any case, um, if yours breaks, don't throw it away. Just buy a... Uh, just do what I did, the PVC pipe that I had lying around, three uh, hose clamps, and uh, and drill two holes with some cotter or some some of those pins, and you're set. You're all set. He he. We had a great time. We ran him for a, about maybe four or five miles, and he ran almost the whole way. So, and it held as opposed to this one that would move and then eventually snapped on me after three times, just three times of using it. Now, here's another one that's not recommended for the streets, in my opinion, because he does get quite a bit loose from you. What you do is you get these, this one here, as you can see, I, I loop it around the uh, stem here of the bicycle and comes out this end. Then I have it all hooked up to some bungee cords. And I like these, I like these green ones better than these black ones because these green ones actually stretch quite a bit these are yeah, these are six foot 
something like that. They stretched up to six feet. And this, um, this hook here keeps this PVC pipe from obviously falling down. Because if it wasn't there, give me a second. I mean, if it wasn't there, it would eventually just go down like this. You know, it would hit. So this um, here holds, holds it up together like this. You see, look at that. It holds it up and it can move left or right, even sometimes behind you. Um, this is when you have your dog nice and disciplined and he, he uh, or she can, can has good command structure because you don't want them running into the street when you don't want them to or going after a cat or some kid or whatever that they see, some distraction. Now, this bungee cord here, you can use two if you want to, but for me, it was easier to loop it, use one to loop. And it took a couple minutes to wiggle both of them out because, you know, they get stuck at the end here with all this metal. And this is the one that, that I'm using for that one. So it's pretty tall. I think, I think, it, I don't know how much it stretches out, but, oh my goodness, let me see. Yikes. Okay, it stretches to four feet, so I'm not sure what designation it would be. But anyway, um, that's my setup for running a dog, either out in, the feet, out in the countryside or when I'm in the city here at home. I run him on this, and he's doing a great job. Right.